No, are we recording already? <laughs> ah, some rice bread right there. Don't make a crash. Maybe. All right, guys. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Ah, vegetarianism. Vegetarianism. Lately, I get a question quite often. Bobby, why not vegetarian? Why did you have to go back to eating animals? Why not vegetarian? All right, first, let me rewind here. Before I went vegan, I already experimented with vegetarianism, of course, like so many others. And I have to say that that was the worst diet of them all. On the vegan diet, in the beginning, I felt quite good, actually really good. But on the vegetarian diet, every single time I tried it, I felt horrendous. So that is just my anecdotal feeling about the vegetarian diet. Eating eggs and dairy never felt like the best option to me. Those foods were always a compromise for the real thing, which is meat. Yes, many people say the Indians though. The Indians, they've been successfully vegetarian for many, many years. Guys, first and foremost, I'm not Indian. If you look into, in case if you didn't notice, if you look into the Indians, you will see that it is a religious belief again. And this is what it comes down to. Veganism, vegetarianism, breatharianism, fruitarianism, all of those belief systems are exactly that. Doctrine, indoctrinated dogma, religious beliefs about nutrition. And therefore, what, what are people that are vegetarian truly seeking? They're seeking the animal foods. They're seeking the animal nutrients that you can find only in animal products. On the vegetarian diet, you can sustain yourself a little bit longer because you're getting at least some good fats, some cholesterol, some preformed vitamin A, so on and so forth. But you're not getting carnitine. You're not getting creatine. You're not getting L-carnitine, so on and so forth. You're missing out on many, many preformed nutrients that you would get if you would get straight to the source, which is the animal flesh. Therefore, I have no interest to jump from one belief system into the other. I know that some people say, yeah, you just jump from veganism to carnivory. No, right now I'm trying a ketogenic experiment. I have no interest in labels any longer. And this is why I won't become vegetarian. This is why I won't become pescatarian. I am eating what is right for the human physiology. And the vegetarian diet is far from right for the human physiology. We evolved to eat animal flesh. That is the truth. This is why you see health improvements on the carnivore diet. It's that simple. I'm in contact with so many ex-vegans. Many ex-vegans still didn't try the animal flesh. And they're in this limbo zone, in between. They are vegetarian. They're experimenting with dairy and eggs. All of those people still have health issues. Only the people that try, only the people that have the courage to experiment with the animal flesh get the health improvements that are desired. Why is that so? Simple, because we are carnivores. As I said before, there are no vegans and there are no vegetarians physically. Biologically speaking, there is no such thing. That is a man-made concept. It is an ideology. Vegans, vegetarians are carnivores in denial. There is no such thing as a biological vegan you will compromise your health. But what about the vegans and vegetarians that are thriving? They're not thriving because of their vegetarian or vegan diet. They are okay despite of their diet. Their genetics allow them to be somewhat healthy. Would all of those people be healthier if they would eat some fresh fish? Of course they would be, without a doubt. Those preformed vitamins, minerals, and nutrients, they've been proven to increase mental performance and physical performance. 
look into a study. I'm actually going to link it this time because people always tell me, oh, you're not scientific enough, Bobby. <laughs> All right. This time around, I'm actually going to link a study that shows creatine consumption, supplementation in this case, in vegetarians and vegans has extreme improvements in cognitive function. All right? And if that doesn't convince you, then I personally do not know what would. Because guys, let's face it, we're talking about creatine here. Creatine is only found in flesh, not in eggs, not in dairy. Preformed animal nutrients have not only their place, but preformed animal nutrients is what we need to truly thrive as human beings. And this is why I won't go vegetarian. Vegetarian is a total compromise to good health. All right, guys, and this is it, a quick video on why I'm not vegetarian. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And as always, guys, much love and peace. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. It's bon après midi. Very good, yeah. Mm. That sense, you know, my cultural sense, it stimulates, gets tickled. Cultural appropriation. It's very good. Yeah. There's a tree. Yeah, I film a tree. There's another tree. Uh, here, there's sand. There's the sky. And there's the castle. <laughs> it's from Magnus Bonafazzi. <laughs> Ludovico Magnifico. <laughs> In France you have humongously fat cats. They feed them very well here. With raw meat. Alright. With snake tartan. And fromage. That's the people, they know. It's fromage. Every day. Six times. Little cat. Little, how do they call it? Chien. No, hachette. All of it. No? Yeah, yeah. I reckon. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, people know me around here. I greet everybody. Right? They know me. They know Bobby's perspective. Say salut. Ça va Bobby? They know it. You can learn a lot here. It's good. Hello. Time for a live stream. Huh? Let's do it. There's a fat cat. Oh, oh, you come, I see it. Yeah. It's really Oh not? It's beautiful. I love it. I'm living in France. Forever. I like the weather. How is it? It's better. It's better than Taiwan. It's good. Mm. It's not cold though. Let me get ready. Sorry. Follow me. Let's get on. Marche, marche, marche à la France. <laughs> Wait. Look here. Look here. Look here. With broken shoes. Should I cut? Yeah. It's enough for today. <laughs>